Hey guys, what is up? It's Bibzu7 here again. I'm just at Hellhounds here getting some more clues for the Clue Scroll Chronicles series, but that is not what this video is. This video is a Collection King series video, and uh, stupid me, during the recording of it, I never recorded an introduction clip, so making one here. The Collection King episode number two going to be coming at you guys in this video. Um, all of these clips are very old. And by that, I mean at least three or four months old each. So they definitely are not going to have up-to-date information. Like pretty much anything I say can be considered like as irrelevant or out of date. So if, if I say I'm working on something or a video is coming soon, that is not the case. Uh, so I just wanted to put that disclaimer out here for you guys. Um, I just finally went today and got all my old files off my PC, my old PC, so now I can upload this video along with the uh, remaining episodes of the Slayer series and then resume these series alongside the Clue Scroll one as I'm back to playing now. So I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to that. It took a while to move all these files actually just because of the sheer size of them all since it's all video of clips, but I'm glad I went and did it now so I can finally get these videos out there for you guys. So without further ado, enjoy Collection King Episode 2. Okay guys, a little clip here, kind of random out of the blue. I just got a Royal Torsion Spring from the QBD and that is one thing I needed for the collection because I just did this one-off kill. I'm currently doing more of Ron's Slayer Challenge. So I did one-off QBD kill and I managed to get a Torsion Spring. So. Got to record it really quick for the clip for the video, but yeah, that is one of the items from the QBD that I need. Um, I do already have the pen in the book, so this one would be pretty quick to just bang out. And, um, you know, I've already got one of those out of the way. Okay, just got another Royal Torsion Spring here at QBD. Uh, unfortunately, it is just the only thing I have so far, and I did get a duplicate of it, but... I am doing currently a Black Dragon's Slayer task, so I'll likely have a lot of drops from QBD here in a row, but we just got another Royal Torsion Spring. Hopefully we can uh, not get too many duplicates on the way to that, but I'm pretty sure I'll have all of the Royal Crossbow pieces before I end up getting the Dragon Kite Shield anyways, but yeah, Royal Torsion Spring there from QBD. Just managed to pick myself up a Royal Sight on this QBD task, so that is the first one I have of that. Pretty nice to get it for the collection, of course. And now we just need the bolt stabilizer and the frame to finish off the piece of the Royal Crossbow. And then after that, I think it's the upgrade kit, Visage, and Kite Shield left after that. But yeah, still got 85 more uh, Black Dragons on this task, so... Probably will have quite a few more drops to show you guys, but uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it going. Just got another Torsion Spring here, guys, unfortunately. Uh, getting kind of unlucky with this, but I did want to just check. Okay, so it does count before you t claim the loot from the chest. Once you, once you open the thing, it will count, so... I'm hoping the, the broadcast doesn't proc when I open the chest on my final item because I'd like to record beforehand, so I might have to start recording all my kills, but yeah, third torsion spring there, and I uh, still only have half the crossbow done. Just got another torsion spring here, like two kills later. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a little bit ridiculous, honestly. Um, I can't really believe that four torsion springs now and just one site and then no other drops here at QBD. Uh, really hoping I can pick up a couple more of the other drops before the end of this task. I still got 69 left to go, but I mean, come on with the torsion springs. Jesus. Man, I am glad I didn't have this bad of duplicate luck at Telos. Uh, and hopefully I don't have it at any other tough bosses in the future, but we just got another royal site here at QBD unfortunately. Um, that is my second one of those. So I now have two of those and four torsion springs and that is it. So yeah, getting pretty unlucky with all these duplicates but I'm not too worried about it because I'm probably going to be getting a decent amount of Black Dragon Slayer tasks going to 120 Slayer anyway so I'll hopefully have enough to get the QBD title done. Um, but maybe 
Maybe not, if this luck keeps up. All right, it's starting to get a little bit ridiculous here at uh, QBD, all right? I mean, I know I, I got pretty lucky with my Telos drops and stuff, but, but, but I, I mean, come on. Come on now with the Torsion Springs. We, we really don't need any more. I think we're good on these. Uh, you can go ahead and stop giving me them. That'd be, that'd be great. Fifth one. Wow, you guys. I honestly don't believe that I just got this so early on. The Dragon Kite Shield here at QBD coming in. Pretty insane. I've only done maybe around 60 kills on the uh, since the collection has come out at this point. I'm not sure. Maybe a few more than that, but I just managed to get the Dragon Kite Shield, uh, which is by far the... Well, actually, the Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit is, I believe pretty rare as well but the dragon kite shield is by far the most rare drop so i guess my assumption is out the window that i would have the rural crossbow done before that especially i mean i could easily have it done by now if i hadn't gotten so many torsion springs but man i just got the dragon kite shield that is pretty sweet uh, i will definitely be taking that for the collection and um yeah we only have some of the more common drops to go probably the Rarest now is the Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit, I'm pretty sure. I'd have to look. Uh, I mean, the drop rates are released, but I just I don't remember which one is more rare, uh, that or the Visage. But yeah, pretty sweet. The Dragon Kite Shield has been acquired. Okay, I just managed to get myself a Draconic Visage here from QBD, of course, uh, which is actually the most valuable drop, so... Definitely not too bad. I mean, not worth a whole lot, but uh, by, compared to some of the other rare drops, it is definitely way better. So, um, yeah, I will definitely take that for sure, uh, especially because I did not yet have it for the collection. And it is actually kind of surprising to me that I now have a kite shield and a visage and only two pieces of the royal crossbow. Now all I need to get is a Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit, and then I'll have everything besides the Royal Crossbow, which is what I thought I would be finishing first, because, I mean, the pieces are so common, and then you'd expect to get them all first, obviously. But either way, I will uh, continue doing this task. Only 28 left to go, so don't really expect to get too much more, but maybe a few Royal Crossbow pieces more before the end. All right, we just got the Royal Bolt Stabilizer here. Pretty nice to get that one. Glad I didn't get another duplicate this time around. Um, so yeah, that means we just need the Royal Frame and the Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit to go for the collection. This one's actually going way faster than I thought it would, to be honest, because I believe Dragon Kite Shield is 1 out of 512, so I got quite lucky on that. And uh, back when I did my King of the Queen series, which was quite a while ago, um, so m most of you probably haven't seen it, um, but it took me quite a while uh, to get the D-Kite. That was like my last item for uh, the majority of the series, I believe. I don't even remember, to be honest. But yeah, glad to uh, get that out of the way. And uh, just two more items to go. Picking up another Royal Bolt Stabilizer here. So uh, kind of unlucky. But still, you kind of going to expect some duplicates when you only have one to go at the end. Second one of those. So... Now I have at least two of every other piece besides the frame, but uh, regardless, I, I believe that it is more likely to be the Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit that ends up being my last item, but I guess that remains to be seen. Just about at the end of this QBD task here, and I picked myself up another Royal Sight, which is unfortunate because I do just need the frame to go on the Royal Crossbow for uh, the title, of course, but... I do expect to get some duplicates before I end up getting this frame and uh, I'm not too worried about it until I get the upgrade kit anyways because that is going to be more rare I believe but yeah another uh, another sight on the collection. Alright it's time for another full raid loot here at the liberation of Mazcab. Hopefully we can finish off our gloves and boots set this time that would be pretty sweet. I do just need the range boots still for the uh, set of those, so let's go ahead and loot our Yaka kill here, and wow, that is a lot of items. Uh, unfortunately, nothing that I really wanted to get, of course, because pretty much anything aside from the Acto pieces is a disappointment at raids, honestly, but 
you know, whatever. Uh, thankfully, BM loot still stayed here because I actually did that B this BM kill a few days ago, um, and then I did the Yaka just now. So I'm glad the loot stays in here. But let's see if we've uh, let it marinate for long enough to get the last pair of boots here, and we did not, unfortunately. But yeah, you know that's just the way it goes. I mean, I have gotten pretty lucky recently, so I'm not super expecting anything. But hopefully soon we can move on to the helms, and once I do that. I will uh, have a worse drop chance, which is kind of depressing, but yeah, that's another full raid completed. Wow, just got a Zamorak hilt here as my second drop on this Zami trip for my Greater Demons task. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it's the rarest drop, but uh, obviously it's. I think it's actually the cheapest one. I'm not sure if it's actually cheaper than this ward that I got earlier. It is. It is cheaper than the ward, so I'm pretty sure it's the least expensive drop, although it is the most rare. Uh, just due to Zamoraki and components and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty good. To, I mean, I'll take my first one, but hopefully I don't get too many more on my way to completing this collection. But yeah, that is a uh, nice Zami help. Just got some War Priest of Zamorak boots here, which I figure I should throw in because it is part of the collection uh, since I didn't have them yet. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I really don't know the rarity of War Priest at all. That's something they actually didn't release with their drop rate uh, video uh, or drop rate release back in the back when they did that. So don't really know how rare this is, but you, it seems like you tend to get it often enough. And I I'd assume I'll have it all by the time I finish the full collection. But yeah, first piece of War Priest. Actually getting pretty lucky here, Zami. Quite, uh, quite quickly after the hilt, we just got the Garb of Subjugation, which is the top. And uh, I'm not sure if this one is. Yeah, it is a bit more expensive than the other pieces. So that is pretty nice. Definitely will take that. Pretty cool drop there. That is now three of the things that I need as the main drops, aside from the War Priest. So we're making some pretty good progress here. Although I assume that the limiter for here as well as Bandos will be the pet, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Just got myself another piece of the Zamorak War Priest outfit. The gauntlets here did not record it on the ground uh, in time because I was not really paying attention and I kind of missed it and I wasn't sure how long it had been there. so. I went ahead and picked it up before the record. I pulled the recorder up. Although I'm not sure if like something drops on the ground and you don't pick it up yet, if it still goes in your collection or not. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but yeah, we've gotten our second piece of it. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's not super rare, but it's definitely nice to get out of the way so I don't have to worry about getting it later on. Um, but once I do get every piece of it, I'll probably just disassemble the pieces I have because it's actually pretty good to just do that for the Zamorak components that you can get for some perk. I forget which one needs those, but yeah, it's pretty good. Just got another drop here at Zami God Wars. Unfortunately, it is a duplicate in the garb, but I can't complain too much because I'm pretty sure that is the most expensive drop from here. So, you know, I guess I'll take it, um, but hopefully we don't get too many duplicates before we end up getting some of the other pieces. You know, we do obviously need quite a few more, uh, everything but the shield and the top so far. So hopefully we can maybe get one more drop before the end of this task. I've got 98 more Greater Demons left to go, but we'll have to wait and see. Just managed to get my third piece of War Priest armor here from uh, Zami, which is pretty nice. The cape this time. 
guess I'll just have to drink this overload until I can sort out my inventory since my inventory is so full of crap right now because I'm close to the end of this trip but yeah we did manage to get the war priest there that's pretty good um, obviously like I said a million times now I mean it's actually seeming to be like around the same drop rate as regular drops but I feel like it's definitely more common to get these from the minions than it is to get like Zami spears from them or anything like that so that's definitely uh, why I feel like I've been getting so many um, I'm not sure if I have any in my bank I will take a look at the collection once I am done with this trip here but yeah this is uh, this is just about over now and um, going to be hopefully heading somewhere else after this because I don't really want to camp at Zami too much but this trip has been nice I haven't been here in a while and I've uh, been getting some pretty decent drops so yeah probably won't be end up getting anything else but I'll see if I do all right, we just finished off another raid here at the Liberation of Mazcab. Going to be looting ourselves a Yakamaru to start things off here. Had a bit of a tough time. This Yaka ran out of food completely because I had to take over because the North Tank died. And I've never done North Tank before, but managed to not die in the end and we got the kill, so it was all right, I guess. But yeah, we've got a Yaka and a Beastmaster loot to do here, so let's go ahead and do Yaka first. And we did not get anything good, unfortunately. Um, obviously, the thing we want right now is the range boots. That's the only drop left that I need for the boots and gloves sets. But, yep, that is Yaka 3 mil loot, which, honestly, again, I, I don't really care about. But I think I have got a lot of techie at this point because I haven't spent any in a while. So once I get these range uh, boots, I can probably buy all the helms. And then I'll be pretty good for uh, till I get all those, and then buy all the top or all the legs, etc., for to make my drop chance a little better. But let's go ahead and get this Beastmaster loot. And oh my God, another effigy, bro! I feel like that's supposed to be rare. Uh, I really hope I can get my act my range boots soon. But yep, that is the Beastmaster loot. Not too great, but still can't really complain because I have been rather lucky lately, um, and I have my reset here so maybe I'll go for another raid soon another full raid here finished actually the second one I did today the last clip I did earlier in the in the day and now I came for my second one because I did have my reset available so yeah probably the first time I've ever done two raids in one day that I can remember at least but this one went pretty smoothly as well not too bad um, I ate more food than I usually do if it's a good kill because I was onslaughting a lot, trying to do a lot of DPS, and uh, you know you end up having to eat back up once you get down low from onslaughting. But anyways, it was still a good kill. Uh, really hoping I can finish off my boots with the range boots here, but I'm not really expecting much. Anyways, let's go ahead and loot the helmet, and we did not get anything good here, unfortunately small goby burial charm there at least to continue getting my rep up I don't know why there's a raw rock till on the floor but yeah I really hope I can get more of these burial charms because I need to get my rep up higher for um, for getting the rerolls but I'm not 100% sure what uh, what else you can do for that but either way let's go ahead and collect the loot here for Beastmaster, don't know why my team is arguing <laughs> about stuff, but it seems like a good kill to me. But uh, let's see if Beastmaster gives us anything, and unfortunately, again, no. So we have not gotten the f the boots that we need to move on to the helms yet. But you know, slowly but surely, we uh, we will complete the full set of Acto. I hope um, that was actually my 50th Beastmaster kill, so I'm only 10 kills off of being able to have a higher pet chance there so that's pretty good and I'm currently at 41 Yaka and I don't have my reset until tomorrow night so it's gonna be a while before I get back to raiding unfortunately but it's gonna be nice to not have to worry about doing it you know before reset or whatever so that's gonna be nice at least but yeah okay so we're gonna have a bit of post commentary coming in here for you guys starting off here at DK's I was here for my Slayer assignment and I managed to get a Berserker Ring. I believe before this trip I hadn't gotten anything uh, for the collection at DK's just yet. So 
it's nice to obviously start off with a B-ring, um, even though they're pretty much worthless. 76k, really not anything to get excited about. But we have the one we need for the collection, so you know that's decent enough. Uh, and then later on in that same trip, I managed to pick up a uh, little something from your boy Supreme here. Um, I actually kind of like DKs, but they used to be really annoying having to switch styles. However, ever since that update with the action bars being able to switch with your weapons, it's probably way more nice to do them now. Um, but as you can see, I managed to get an archer's ring there from Supreme which is um, also pretty worthless, I believe. But again, we need it for that collection. So we now have two of the rings off the list already, which is pretty sweet. And then quite soon after that, I believe, uh, I managed to actually pick up a dragon hatchet, which is easily the most expensive item from them. I believe it's about a mil for those. So that's pretty good to get. Um, obviously, you needed it for the collection. But the really the collection's not really a, a worry here at Dagoneth Kings. The thing you really need from them is the pets. Now, up here, up next here, we have some Rise of the Six, which was something I had never done before, and this is quite sped up, by the way. And please don't make fun of me too much if I fail or do anything wrong. Uh, I was quite inexperienced with this at the time, um, but I really enjoyed doing it, and I've done uh, uh, quite a few kills since, and I believe I've gotten about uh nearly a hundred kills done um unfortunately in these clips i did not receive any shields so there's nothing in terms of collection progress here but as you can see that was my first kill i guess uh if that's what barrowed power is but i was really enjoying this and i've done quite a bit since then um obviously i haven't done it since i came back but i did quite a few trips of this uh when i after i had first learned it and it is really really fun um Probably one of my favorite uh, small team bosses at the very least. Uh, this and Virago are both really good. Um, although I kind of would prefer to do Virago in an even smaller team. I have never tried duo, but I would like to eventually. Um, but yeah, this is really fun. The kills are quick, and uh, it's pretty decent loot when you have the malevolent energies, uh, of course. Uh, the only thing, I mean, I really don't like having to run out of the tunnel. It's just a pain in the ass. But it's just part of the fight, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I really do love uh, Rise of the Six. And the, the fact of the shields, you need one of each is quite tough. Um, the thing I really don't like about their collection is you need the bobbleheads, which means you have to spend quite a bit of money. And there's no real drop for it, which is kind of lame. But I do like the boss a lot. And um, I would hopefully get some of the shields before too long, uh, although they seem to be pretty elusive. Uh, they're not really worth that much, so the only real reason I care about getting them is for that collection. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get those, but that's all I did, had for that those clips. I just figured I'd show it a bit just to see what, uh, just to show you guys what I was doing even if I didn't get any drops. And it's the same thing with this clip right here. I am just doing some corpse soloing. Uh, I was just trying it out for a little bit. I don't know, I have a chaotic spear not the best thing. I mean, Corp just straight blasts you. He hits you really hard and there's not much you can do to stop it. Uh, so it is kind of annoying to kill sometimes, but um, not, not to mention the fact that you can only use a spear, but I do like to do a bit of a Corp soloing now and then. I like to dabble and get a couple kills here and there, although Corp collection is quite a tough one considering you need the incredibly rare sigils and then on top of that you need the pet, but Figured I'd just show a clip of that because um, I did do quite a few kills. I think I did maybe 10 or 15 solos uh, in that time, so I thought that was pretty cool. But now back to Livecom. Came home on my lunch break, forgot to record the with OBS, and of course I get a drop after not getting one for almost this entire task of Ga of Zami here. I've only got 28 Greater Demons left, and I had like 200, and I haven't gotten anything up until this point. But I come home from my lunch break to finish it off. And I get some boots of subjugation, so that's pretty nice. New drop for the collection there. Uh, I think I still need quite a few. I only have the top shield and boots, so I still need the legs, hood, and gloves, as well as the Z spear and the steam battle staff. So nowhere really close to being done here, but nice to at least get something before my task ends. So yeah, boots of subjugation. Uh, and just about 20 kills later, I managed to get a hilt here at Zami that I was also, I mean, I don't really feel like pulling up. Um, 
I really don't feel like pulling up my OBS just for this short amount of kills, but we only have 11 KC left, or 11 kills for the task left, and we just get another hilt, so that's unfortunate. It is way rarer than the subjugation stuff, I believe, and we already have a hilt, so don't really want to get it. And it's, like, way cheaper than the subjugation stuff. Like, that's, like, half the price of the boots that I just got, so kind of unfortunate, but going to continue uh, until I finish this task. Probably won't get anything else, but you never know. Okay, I just got back to back. I wish I hadn't stopped recording there, but I just got a ward of subjugation right after I got that hilt, so pretty crazy luck there, I guess, but unfortunately I do already have the ward, so that doesn't actually help me towards my collection either, but I'll definitely take it. I mean, getting some free money here, just getting really lucky at the end after getting no drops the last day, so pretty good. All right, we just finished up a full raid here at the Liberation of Mazcab. I'm going to try and quickly grab my luck of the doors and go back in so I can loot Yaka from inside, and I did it. Thankfully, the peop one person stayed in uh, just for my screenshots so I can have the loot be able to write it down later. Um, well, let's go ahead and loot our Yaka here with our luck of the doors. Hopefully, we can get some acto. It's been a couple of days since I've raided because... Uh, I just haven't been able to find a team in the stupid FC, but let's see what we get. Oh my god, we got another effigy, bro. I swear that is rare. And I've gotten three in like not too long a time. Oh, yes, I will do rot. Yes, after I finish looting, I would love some rots right about now. But first, let's go ahead and loot some Beastmaster. Please give me those boots. I just want to finish the boot and glove set, please. Fucking Codex, dude. God. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, bruh. And for these last few clips, we are back to the post commentary. Um, I was recording these ones on OBS, by the way, the ones that at DK's and also at ROTS. Um, so that's why they might look a little bit different uh, because if I record on Camtasia, the file size is quite big, but it makes it really good quality. Uh, so if I'm recording a long session, then I'll do OBS. But as you can see here, I managed to pick up another Dragon Hatchet. This was on another Slayer task of Dagoneth's. Um, I really will pretty much probably be doing all my Slayer tasks here at the DKs if I am offered them, until, at least until I get the full collection, uh, which I'm very far off because you need all the pets and everything, but up here we get a mud battle staff, which is a new thing that we haven't had yet, so that is all in the collection now, uh, I believe. I think the only thing I had before this video was a circle, uh, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's all I had because I didn't do, I haven't done too much DKs before now, um, but since I started doing the 120 Slayer series, I um, started to do them a bit more, and that was what has been getting me these drops. Uh, unfortunately, we do get another Mud Battle Staff here. Uh, pretty much after I get one of each of the drops, I if I get any more drops, I basically just want them to be Dragon Hatchets. Obviously, that's not always going to be the case, but you'll always be a little bit disappointed when you get something that's not a hatchet because that's the thing that will get you the most extra money in the bank when you are... Uh, uh, selling stuff off at the end. Um, speaking of disappointments, we managed to pick up another Seer Cole here from Dagonoth Supreme. Not what you want to see for sure. Um, I didn't even know it was on the collection for a while, but it turns out they did add it. It is a unique drop, but there are several unique drops from Dagonoth Kings uh, that are kind of weird, similar to the Seer Cole that aren't on the collection, like Fremenic Blade and stuff like that. Maybe those aren't unique to them, and that's why. I don't, I'm not sure if anything else drops them, but it's just something I noticed. Um, and then coming in here, we get a, another Archer's Ring, which, again, not the best. You do uh, want to prefer to see those hatchets because most of the, or all of the rings, as far as I know, are pretty much not worth anything. But it'll be cool to see those numbers on the collection log just be uh, pretty decent at the end of... Uh, the at the end of doing these bosses so uh, it's not the worst thing in the world to just get uh, some of those random drops once again um, but yeah popping back over to good old Rex now we managed to pick ourselves up a nice warrior ring which is I believe something we didn't have yet um, and I also believe that that was the last thing we needed uh, so we 
basically have the whole DK's collection done aside from the pets, which is kind of funny. Um, but the pets are probably still pretty far off, so we can't really get it very quickly. Uh, and then lastly here at the DK's, I managed to get a Sears ring. Maybe that was the last thing. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Like I said at the beginning of the video, these clips were recorded several months ago, so I don't really remember too much. Um, after this point, we will have much more organized videos and much more organized thoughts, hopefully. Oh, hey. Perfect chitin. Nice. Finally got it. The first tier 90 defender. Well, that's that is part of the collection, I guess, but I don't uh I don't know if I'll include it in the video. Maybe I will, but going to have plenty of those by the time I get all the dragors, but yeah, perfect chitin from Calfi King. Pretty sweet. And for these last few clips, we are back to the post-commentary. Um, I was recording these ones on OBS, by the way, the ones that, at DK's and also at ROTS. Um, so that's why they might look a little bit different, uh, because if I record on Camtasia, the file size is quite big, but it makes it really good quality. Uh, so if I'm recording a long session, then I'll do OBS. But as you can see here, I managed to pick up another Dragon Hatchet. This was on another Slayer task of Dagoneth's. Um, I really will pretty much probably be doing all my Slayer tasks here at the DKs if I am offered them until at least until I get the full collection, uh, which I'm very far off because you need all the pets and everything. But up here we get a Mud Battle Staff, which is a new thing that we haven't had yet, so that is on the collection now, uh, I believe. I think the only thing I had before this video was a Circle, uh, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all I had because I didn't do I haven't done too much DKs before now. Um, but since I started doing the 120 Slayer series, I um, started to do them a bit more, and that was what has been getting me these drops. Uh, unfortunately, we do get another Mud Battle staff here. Uh, pretty much after I get one of each of the drops, I if I get any more drops, I basically just want them to be Dragon Hatchets. Obviously, that's not always going to be the case, but you'll always be a little bit disappointed when you get something that's not a hatchet because that's the thing that'll get you the most extra money in the bank when you are uh, uh, selling stuff off at the end. Um, speaking of disappointments, we managed to pick up another Seer Cole here from Dagonoth Supreme. Not what you want to see for sure. Um, I didn't even know it was on the collection for a while, but it turns out they did add it. It is a unique drop, but there are several unique drops from Dagonoth Kings uh, that are kind of weird, similar to the Seer Cole that aren't on the collection. like. Fremenic Blade and stuff like that. Maybe those aren't unique to them, and that's why. I don't, I'm not sure if anything else drops them, but it's just something I noticed. Um, and then coming in here, we get a, another Archer's Ring, which, again, not the best. You do uh, want to prefer to see those hatchets because most of the, or all of the rings, as far as I know, are pretty much not worth anything. But it'll be cool to see those numbers on the collection log just be uh, pretty decent at the end of... Uh, the at the end of doing these bosses so uh, it's not the worst thing in the world to just get uh, some of those random drops once again um, but yeah popping back over to good old Rex now we managed to pick ourselves up a nice warrior ring which is I believe something we didn't have yet um, and I also believe that that was the last thing we needed uh, so we basically have the whole DK's collection done aside from the pets which is kind of funny um, but the pets are probably still pretty far off so we can't really get it very quickly uh, and then lastly here at the DK's I managed to get a Sears ring maybe that was the last thing I'm not 100% sure to be honest like I said at the beginning of the video these clips were recorded several months ago so I don't really remember too much um, after this point we will have much more organized videos and much more organized thoughts hopefully um, I should be better at that uh, and then right here coming in we have a Calphite King solo clip um, I did a, have a Calphite's task I guess I completed the task during the kill on the minions because I do not currently have any Slayer task in this clip 
But I have been doing quite a bit of Cal Fight King soloing on my Slayer test of Cal Fights. It's actually pretty fun and not too hard. Um, but right here I managed to pick up a perfect Chitin or Chitin, whatever you want to call it. And that uh, is pretty good because I can make a 290 Defender with it. And it's also part of the collection for Cal Fight King, so I figured I'd show it off here. Um, it's definitely not too bad at all. I am turned out to make that into a melee defender with an offhand Drygore, uh, and that's been pretty useful. So, yeah.